Hey everyone, it's Rose here. In today's video, I will show you how to complete the quests Willpower Extraction and Milgath the Man's Work, which are both part of getting the Arcfine Doomlord armor. What you have to do is go to Thursday's Sue and Otlim and talk to Oblivion. So let's do that. And when you're in here, you can either join a private room or just go through the portal. Alright, when you're going through the portal or you're in the private room, you click here on Oblivion's Quest. Alright, here are the three quests that are required to getting the Arcfine Doom Lord armor. And what we're going to do in this video is form Willpower Extraction, which is this quest, uh, for the Unidentified 34, and then complete this quest as I need one more unidentified 34 to get the Doom Blade of Destruction or any of the, these others. When forming Arcfire and Doom Lord, there are two main regions, unidentified 34 as, a, as you saw before and unidentified 35. You get unidentified 34 from Willpower Extraction and unidentified 35 from Nogi After Man's Work with a drop rate on around 5% I think. And luckily you only need one unidentified 35 and 10 unidentified 34 per Nogi After Man's work turning. So at least 40 if you're lucky and obtain the unidentified 35 within your first quest completions. So what I have done, I haven't gotten any of these uh, until now, which I'm going to get in this video. So right now I will show you how I would form my unidentified 34s. It, you might form it in a different way, but this is uh, the most I make out of my situation. You might not have cer ceremonial Void Knight sword uh, or anything else like. Uh, it's your own way that matters when you're farming for the regions required. Which aren't very hard uh, like to get uh, per se, but the thing is you need to complete this quest at least 40 times. If you're not lucky and getting more than one unidentified 34. But let's get right into it. So first of all, we're gonna get the, the ones that you can buy for gold, which is Shadow Lich, Mystic Tribal Sword, Mortality Cape of Advantius. So let's begin by doing that. To get the Shadow Lich armor, you need to go to Shadowfall. Then you need to follow me. For this armor you need evil in rank 10. Press on Gravelin's quest, evil reputation and shop. Then you will find it here, Shadow Lich. That's the first part. Now we'll go to Arcane Grove and get the mystical tribal sword. You get this uh, from the repeat from the shop uh, uh, at raised in the start starting allocation. Mystic Tribal Sword. Oh, I also forgot to mention. I will write down every requirement in in regards of reputation and gold and like a level. So everything will be in the description if you have any questions. Uh, and if there. Your, your answer isn't there, just ask any questions and I will try to help you as much as possible. Now we, we will get the last item required uh, with only gold and some Arcvine favors, of course, which is the Mortality Cape of Volunteers. You get that in, as you see right here, in Evil Warnel and press here on Dilagas and Favor Shop. Here you find it, for 10,000 gold and 35 Arcfine's favors. There we go. Now we will form the most annoying part of this, which in my opinion are Doom Matter, Necrot and Chaos Root. 
I can show you the quest here instead if that's more clear. Right now we have the Shadow Leech, the Mystic Tribal Sword and Mortality Cape of Revontius. Now we're going to get the Doom Matter, Necrot and Chaos Root. So, starting with Doom Matter. Uh, to get this item you have to do slash join mob. When you're here, follow me. You have to kill the creature creation. A tip is to use Binding Light of Destiny and Paladin, but I don't have Paladin so I will use either LDK or Stone Crusher because this is an undead monster and you do 50% more damage with uh, Blinding Light of Destiny. So that, that is a recommendation if you have the item. When you have obtained 5 Doom Matters, it's time to form the Chaos Roots. And the Chaos Roots are obtained in Hydra. And if you have already completed the Chiral Welly uh, questline, you will need to go to Mobius and press on Dewdrops chest quests and press the Hydra. That makes you join here, and these are the ones you want you want to kill to form the Chaos Roots. They are pretty rare, so you will have to form uh, for a while, like uh, the Doom Matter, but it's a bit higher drop chance. When you have acquired 5 Chaos Roots, you go to slash Temple B to form your Necrots. Um, the Necrots drop from every monster in here, I'm pretty sure, and here there are Undeads as well, so it's important that you use your damage boost items. When you have acquired your 5 Necrots, it's time for you to go back to Evil Warno and get the Evil Clunk's Crown. This drops from Eva either the monsters Legion Fenrir's or Laken, the boss. So all you have to do is follow where I go and form the drop. Either you get them from the Legion Fenrir's here, or the faster way is going to Laken, right here. If you don't have any arc find favors, um, the, the best way of farming those is still here in Evil Warno, but you have to kill some other monsters. Follow me. Of course these drops from these monsters as well, but the fastest way is where the location I'm going right now. Right here. Accept as many of those as you can, because they, they are useful for many other things as well. Now it's time to get the Facebreaker of Nolgaf. What you have to do now is go to Terse's Suinoclim once again, the location where we started in. Of course you need the required regions, which will be uh, listed in the, in the description. When you're going to Nogaf, you need to go the right path for these funnels, tunnels, which can be a bit hard, but you will get the hang of it when you go there a few times. Just follow where I go. As before, I will list everything in the description so you can read the, there if you have trouble getting to Nolgaf. When you're here, press on Nolgaf's quests, press quests and breaking the weak. Here you will see the, the quest Kindness of Nolgaf, which drops Facebreaker of Nolgaf, which are, is required for our quest and Sightblinder Axe of Nolgaf. Don't worry if you get the Sightblinder Axe of Nolgaf, that only means that 
for the rest of your turn-ins there will be a 100% chance that you get the face breaker of Nogath. So if you don't get it on the first try, don't press no on Sightblinder. What we need for this is the Golden Shadow Breaker, the Shadow Terror Axe, Unidentified 13, Tainted Gem, Dark Crystal Shard and Diamond of Nogath. It isn't very hard, it's just that the Golden Shadow Breaker and Shadow Terror Axe are a bit low chance drops. But to get the Golden Shadow Breaker, you have to join Citadel and follow where I go. To get the Golden Shadow Breaker, you have to kill the Grand Inquisitor, which is a human monster and if you have Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armor or ne Necrotic Sword of Doom, it's recommended that you use those, because they have a damage boost on humans. I don't have any of those, so I'm going to use my regular sword. When you have obtained the Golden Shadow Breaker, it's time to get the Shadow Terror Axe. Uh, by, to get that, you have to go to Battle Under B. Then go to Battle Under A for the short way, right here. And farm until you get the Shadow Terror Axe. Now, there's only Essence of Nogath, Unidentified 19, and Dragonfire of Nogath left. And to get the Essence of Nogath, you can either go to Tersesui Nothling, where we were before, and kill Dark Machias, or do the member only way, which is in Nogath. Here, there are also Dark Machias, right here. Farm those until we get 10 Essences of Nogath. Then, you will need your three totems, which are required for the Dragonfire of Nogath. And getting your totems is, there are a few ways. You can either do it with the Nogath Larvae, the Cerem Ceremonial Void Knight Sword Pet, Hanso Orbs, or by uh, farming Essence of Nogath. But then you need a voucher of Nogath Nonmam, which I don't have at the moment. Check my other video called The Ultimate Way of Farming Terraforming for more information on how to farm totems fast. I might uh, as well have uh, a separate totems and gems of Nogath tutorial, which you also can check, which uh, are very useful if you want to know how to farm totems and gems of Nogath as fast as possible. Either way, you will also need an unidentified 19 which I will get through using the pet Crag and Bamboozle. You will need to complete either um, Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance or The Assistant. For the, for the Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance you need Assyrian's Helm, which drops from Assyrian or from the Bamboozle vs Drudgeon quest, which I will use. You can also get it via The Assistant, which needs a blood cloak and Noga from free. Blood cloak is uh, 10, no, not 10, 100k gold, and there's a chance that you get the unidentified 19 pet from there. So there are three ways, and if you don't know how to get the quest, it's acquired from Drudgeon, the assistant, which I also have made a separate video about on where to get it for free. All right, now I'm going to farm. Supplies to spin the wheel of chance with the Bamboozle vs. Dragon quest. If you have Craig and Bamboozle and don't know how to complete the quest, just join Nogath and follow me. Walk past these dark Makais to the end of the room where you will find the Tainted Elemental. Right here. Kill this 13 times. No, uh, until you get 13 Tainted Cores because that's the highest stack and then accept your assurance helms and then supplies to spin the wheel of chance and get the unidentified 19 after some time 
You might be lucky and get it on the first try, who knows. To get the Dragonfire of Nogaf, you will need a Sword of Nogaf pet, which has the quest called Twisted Items of Nogaf. As you see, you need 3 Turnos of Nogaf and 1 Nogaf Room 4, which drops from Skull Warrior. And here you can choose between 3 items, and the one you want to choose of course is Dragonfire of Nogaf, in order to complete the quest. Alright everyone, that was the complete guide of getting the Arcfire Doomlord armor. Or at least the two first quests. The, se the last quest used for requiring the, the armor will I go over in a later video when I will do it myself. From now on, good luck farming the Arctvine Doomlord armor and the other regions used for it, and I will see you in the next one.